All right, folks, back with the second duel of the day. Ooh, we have finally won the rock, paper, scissors. Let's see what we can do. We opened up animal. We also opened up executor and a samurai skull. This is a fantastic hand. All right, so now since I know I'm not going to be summoning samurai. Actually, I think I want to keep that. Uh, oh, fuck. Strategist is pretty good to keep, too. I'm trying to see what we can do here. Um, damn. Damn. Strategist is good to banish because we have Anima. Let's just fuck with that. Let's just fuck with that for right now. It looks like he is playing True Draco. Maybe. Maybe he's playing a burn deck. I'm not too fantastically sure. Pretty sure you'll have something for me, though. All we needed was a pre-prep, and we were going to put his face in a blender. But yeah, this is... Um, why I like Samurai Skull, this, but this is the reason why I don't like um, 24, I mean, 42 cards. It's because I draw entirely too many monsters, which is just not good for the deck. We definitely need access to our spells, so I need to cut this down to at least 20 monsters, but that's, that's a tall task. I know I can cut two Samurai Skulls, but he's just very good. I also don't play Revenants because what's going on here? You see how I already had that shit set up? He most likely he's playing Burn. Oh, he's playing True Draco. Okay. Well, True Dracos aren't... I, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Um, <laughs> I was just about to say, True Draco isn't a problem. But I'm not going to say it because I already know what's going to happen. Immediately, he's going to flip that Monarchs Erupt. And we're not going to have fun time here. Carter fucking Demise. All right. So, at least he had a monster in his hand. Um, all right. So, it didn't look like he drew too much. Oh, yeah. He drew bad. All right. Oh, do another lore. Now that's that's tricky. Um, I feel like I should just go for the attack here. Actually, what does this get? Um, you can add a continuous spell from your deck to your hand. That's fine. I would say. That's really freaking fine. I feel like it's fine. Um, but I want to know. I should I should just attack over I really should just attack. Because I feel like he's either gonna have a he's gonna have a, a, a something that's either he's gonna either have the one that special summons or he's gonna have the one that uh he's gonna have the one that special summons or he's gonna have like a monarch erupt. And if I attack it forces his monarch erupts immediately and then I know not to even consider not even you know Yeah, let's go for an attack. Because if he has Monarchy Rupt, then I know not to even play into his shit. Um, yes, yeah, he had it. All right. So that's completely fine. That's that's fine. That's dead. So we're not even worried about that no more. Main phase two. So now we can allure safely because I know that he's not going to be able to get nothing on the board. God damn, dog. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Dude, what is the fucking problem? All right, so we're straight. We're gonna be able to win. He, oh, he can't activate spells. What am I? What I'm not even worried. He can't even activate spells. Sure. I mean, I, I don't care. You can't activate spells. This game is over. This game is over. He drew a monster. All right. So there we go. We know what this is. So yeah, this is definitely over. We'll just start with this because we don't need we don't need our spells to activate. We just need to go Zuki and all the nice nuts. Uh. What do I have? I don't think I, I don't know what I have in my graveyard, so that's why I didn't do it. Oh, I definitely could have did some stuff with that. Um, but it's okay. We can still do stuff with that. We use Gozuki to bring this. I mean, use Mizuki to bring this back, and this stops. Um, this stops the disciples that he does have. Uh, I could send Spirit Master to pop Imperial Order, but that is not going to be too good. We're not going to do that because we want to go for game here. Um, let's go Vampire Sucker. And then with Gozuki, we'll banish Samurai Skull. And we'll special summon Hound Horde. And we're definitely going to get this victory today, folks. We're definitely going to get this today. Get this Unizombie back out. That's fine. Damn, I just don't understand why we drew so many damn monsters. Oh, my God. This is just unfair to even play Yu-Gi-Oh! with. Um, I can just go... Hmm... I can go Tremere Phoenix and then ditch and then go into a, what's the name and draw a free card. Yeah, let's do that. Um, since I'm going for game, this is the reason why I'm doing this. 
um, one and two bam use this to uh, pop this I mean if you want to use it go ahead <laughs> I'm pretty sure oh, he's not gonna do it on yet uh, we can use hound horde ditch this special summon then we're able to go unicorn one and two bam activate this unicorn Oop, spin that mother thing back to the deck draw a free card there's an effect there that does nothing that's uh 5019 that's game all right so imperial order see look man I, I, like think about it man the first game i played against uh, anti-spell this game i'm playing against imperial order this was literally how my games went but i just didn't have the uh necessary uh Actually, if he was playing Alter Guys, I probably would have lost. I knew he would have had a multi figure, but yeah, I don't think True Draco is really a problem with this deck. All right, so definitely siding in three red reboots. Um, that's completely. Since we're not going first, I don't think that Shared Ride is good to be doing. Torrential is good because they, I mean, that's pretty good. Feg Valor does absolutely nothing. Twin Twister does not that guy. Twin Twister does amazing stuff. I don't think. Did we see a hand trap? I'm not sure if we did see a hand trap. Um, let me see. Uh, we'll cut one samurai skull. Uh, also, we'll also cut two cards. What two cards should we cut? Um, I, I don't want to cut torrential. That doesn't seem too good. Uh, I know we're going to need twin twisters. I know that for sure. Uh, fudge. Um, I don't know what to cut. Uh, I, let's just cut the call by the graves. I didn't see a hand trap. I don't believe they play hand traps. It's because they play card of demise. So it'll kind of be kind of conflicting, I guess. But some people still do it because just in case you don't draw a card of demise. But I, I feel like they don't. Yeah, they only play eight monsters. True Jackals only play eight monsters. Okay, so this should be a fun match because we do have Red Reboot. And if we have a decent hand, we're definitely red reboot him on the first activation of a trap. And then proceed to go from there because I'm, once again, pretty sure that they do not play hand traps. Alright, so this is a simple very hand. Once again, we've drawn three Vendreds. And this is exactly why I play 45 in most of my decks. Okay, he's probably going to get either Erupt or Diagram depending on his hand. Um, he's going to get Erupt. Alright, so either he has a Diagram or he has a monster to summon he has the diagram okay um, I'm guessing he has another spell wow he plays droll and lock see this is what's weird why would you even you don't even oh you have card of demise you're that good oh my god oh my god this man is a monster he is a monster among men Jesus Christ, that man is amazing. That's crazy good. That's crazy. You were playing hand traps in a deck to win. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. That is so fucking funny to me. I don't know why you're playing hand traps. We could draw a red reboot. We're f oh, that's another torrential. That's that's not too good. Um, I feel like he's going to flip the monarchs erupts regardless, so... Fuck it. Let's just throw a samurai skull out to there. Um, make him flip his monarchy erupt. Which, if he if he's terrible, he's gonna activate monarchy erupt first, and then chain, and then and like yeah, he's bad. Never mind. All right, so this is not even a fair matchup because I'm clearly playing against somebody who's not competent enough to play the deck right. Like you easily activate this, then you chain this. Like still the same exact thing. Um, definitely should have set the second torrential. So. I just got a little too excited just now because I just definitely should have did that. That was just dumb on my part. Um, hopefully he hits a trap. He gets rid of uh, Animawatu. Well, that's fine. They can't be destroyed by battle. Okay. What did he add? Because I, I'm pretty sure he didn't show me just now. Apocalypse. I can't stop Apocalypse, young man. I don't even know what Apocalypse does. That's fine. That is completely fine. Um, that's a... Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that, man? Like, he's... Oh, he must have another one. 
He has to have another what's the name. You're just gonna activate that samurai skull. I don't care if you get the trap. I do not care. Don't care. And this is why I kind of want to play Goblin Zombie. Is because in this situation, you get a Goblin Zombie, and then we're able to do some good things. Um, we're just gonna get a Mizuki. We'll get a Mizuki in this situation. Um, yeah, we don't need to uh, have a response to that. I'm waiting for his summon of his monster. He's gonna be able to draw a card, but if he's not able to, uh, oh my god, if he draw, if he fucking draws draws a monster, we're straight. We're in the game forever. Oh, beautiful fucking foe, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Turns off the monarchs erupt. There's no way you have another solemn judgment. This wasn't even you. Okay, thank you. Beautiful, fucking beautiful, man. This is how you play Yu-Gi-Oh, folks. This is exactly how you fucking play. Oh my god, and then we top deck the Slayer. Um, all right, so I say we set this. I already know it's probably a fucking Imperial Order set, but we'll try. We'll try, man. All right, so we have to banish Samurai Skull, Anima, and Core because now he can't be targeted. And we'll just win from there. Um, and then we'll just attack with 25. 24, I mean. We'll just attack with 24. That doesn't matter. I don't care. You can't target. We'll take the 12. Um, main phase 2. Hmm. Ah, now this is difficult. Now, I want... I should... I, I'm definitely going to just play into it. Because that's going to win me the game. I don't want to get rid of Anima, but Anima is the only thing we think we do get rid of. If he has a strike, that's going to hurt. It's going to hurt if he has a strike. But if he doesn't, we're straight. Oh, man, if we just... If we had, was able to keep something on the board. You have a Torrential? No, you don't. Alright, so we'll just go Vampire Sucker. Um, yeah, we activate Slayer. Hopefully he doesn't have a strike or something. We're going to dump Hound Horde. But I just say I don't know what I have to add to my hand because if I dump Hound Horde, I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to evolution because I don't play another three. Um, let's just get Origin. Let's just get Origin. We have to actually get lucky here. Um, let's go Zuki for Hound Horde. We have to get lucky. We have to draw a monster. If we draw a monster, we're just in the game here. We're just in the game to win. Ooh, now that's that's really fucking amazing. So what we're gonna do here is go this, and we have to actually summon Battle Lord in this situation. Have to actually summon Battle Lord. Um, and if you have what's the name, that's once again completely fine. All right, so we have to summon Battle Lord because we won't be able to tribute off what's the name. And then here, I'll just call it traps. Man, I wish that shit was a quick effect. Let's call traps, banish one of his face downs, and then go from there. Sadly, our anima is banished. I really didn't want to do that. All right, so we'll just use this. Call, activate that. Call traps. Call trap cards. I don't know what else he could have, but it doesn't seem like he has anything. We'll banish that. Oh, the monarchy erupt. Okay, you can't even activate that, right? Yeah, so I mean, this is response. This is the one that's activating. So I'm guessing since I turned that off, it either has to be an anti spell or it's uh, one of those trap cards. And either or, I think that we're just in trouble here. Diagram is probably going to pop this. Um, and let's not even. Let's just banish Diagram. That's his managed diagram. I kind of didn't even want to do that, to be honest with you. I wanted to get rid of the trap, but I feel like it's going to happen regardless. Oh, he doesn't have anything. Okay. Um, bam. We'll vanish. This is the one that can activate. So I'm thinking this... Uh, it doesn't matter. This is the one that can activate. So I think it may be another true trait. Rivalry of Warlords. Okay. This <laughs> is... Um, sure, I guess. Um, and then we'll call it Trapped with this. Um, we'll banish another Origin. Uh, yeah, we gotta banish Origin. We'll call it Traps. Call Traps again. 
Um, that means he's okay. All right. So now, since this resolves, he should thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, what does he have in his graveyard? I was about to say because if that happened, that would have been cheating. Thirteen fifty. That's completely fine. Actually, we should give him drone lockbird. Um, no reason to even give him even an advantage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is how Yu-Gi-Oh is supposed to be played, folks. Now this is what the deck is supposed to do. I just can't do this against Alter Guys because they, they main shit to negate my spells. <laughs> Alright, so bam. Where's the young Muzuk Duke? Uh now this is what I'm this is good Yu-Gi-Oh right here, folks. Oh, this is good Yu-Gi-Oh. This is good Yu-Gi-Oh. We'll just get this back. Special summon that right there. Um, and then we'll just go into battle phase. My thumb and my pinky is getting very tired right now. Um, I don't know. I, I, just still, I still don't understand why he had hand traps in here. That made no type of sense. But who am I? I don't play True Draco. And apparently, hey, what I say does not uh, make any type of sense. I didn't see rivalry coming though. Excuse me, but I definitely didn't see that one coming. That was a little, that was a little weird there. That was a definitely weird. Um, I, I no, it's not weird for them to play it, but it's just something I didn't expect. I did not expect that one. Let's just keep it over here. Let's keep it fancy because we're gonna set the twin twister. Oh my god! And Battle Lord is such an amazing part. Like such so good in this situation. And in this situation, what well, we can do... Okay, there we go. We got the surrender. All right, I think that's it. Be right back. All right, folks. So here is the new and improved deck list. As you can see, um, the side deck now involves Twin Twisters. Um, because that's something I definitely should have played. Because apparently Altergeist, once again, is the best deck of all time. So I definitely have to do that. Once again, I took out the Compulsors for Torrentials. And I've also main decked this. is because every time I don't main, that, main deck this, I run against everything that can possibly set back row, do anything. I always play decks. When I don't main this card, I always play those decks. When I do main this card, I play against decks that don't have any back row, but I think I'm just gonna have to take it because against Gokis, this is good. Against Brandish, this is good because apparently um, the they're activating the uh, the continuous spell a lot. I think a lot of people, they said, I was just seen the deck profile of the New Jersey. Oh, just to say one more thing. I know this has nothing. I mean, I know this is the end of the video and a lot of people aren't seeing this. But I'm just saying, like, that, that Sky Striker Trickstar deck does not look good. And I really feel, I, I mean, I'm going to continue with this tomorrow. But I really feel like that deck is just going to be a flash in the pan. Because once, 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 once again, like I said on Monday, once everybody starts being assertive and not letting their opponent, you know, basically cheat them or beat them by uh, using the time for them. That deck is just going to go away because that's the only that's I believe that's the only reason the deck won. And as you can see, a lot of pro players picked it because a lot of pro players they're they're not going to not be assertive with people. You know, like if that's like like a, a pro player playing against somebody who looks up to him or somebody who doesn't know you know as much as them or is not. I, I wouldn't say as good as them because they might be still good. They just you know may not just have the uh, the credentials to go around it. But uh, a pro player or I guess an experienced player will like literally pressure you call the judge will do everything that a lot of the community say is like sharking and stuff like that but you got to understand man you got to do that stuff you got to you got to be ruthless man fuck their feelings after hey, after y'all can shake hands and you know y'all can go talk about what happened but during the game that is your sworn enemy you should be you don't have to cheat them but like I said, I just really read preface that because I don't want nobody to say, oh, are you telling me? No, no, I'm not telling you to cheat. I'm telling you to be super assertive. Don't let your opponent dictate the pace of the game. Y'all come either you come in even, even, you know, you respect him, you respect you. Y'all know what y'all know what's going on. Don't let him sit there and stall, do this, all the extra shit. No, if you feel like he's stalling or taking his time, it's not, it's not called, it's not sharking. It's not shark. Now, sharking is where. You know, you see me playing. Uh, well, in my opinion, sharking is if you see me playing like a lord or a monster reborn that's foreign, and you're like, "Oh, what does it do?" Like that's that's just, you're just being a fucking dickhole. Even though you know you're not wrong in doing it, but like that's just being a dickhole. You have monster reborn in your deck. You know exactly what it does, and I don't know why judges don't go harder on the player 
uh, when they do cheat because there's been times where people literally have the same card in their deck and they'll call a judge talking about, well, I don't know what it does. Um, but like I said, man, just be assertive. Be very assertive. Do not let your opponent play you. Do not let your opponent do whatever they want. Don't let them just take six minutes because, oh, they're they're trying to do you no, know, you're trying to be nice. No, you gotta be assertive. You gotta speed up the game to basically they all both playing at the same level y'all both agree on everything and that's another thing uh agree i mean speak out loudly declare your phases so there's no confusion and so at least i guess if the judge come it's not really i mean it's up to the judge 100 percent. but at least you have players around you that say oh yeah i heard him yes that's this is what happened at least you have to like if you declare in your phases all game the, your opponent cannot say or oh, he didn't say this no 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 i no. stand by main phase battle phase in the main phase response anything like that just be assertive man and i feel like that's why the deck did so well is because a lot of pro players are playing it assertively where they'll you know pressure you into playing fast and then they'll play slow pressure you to playing fast or call a judge they, they think you're taking too long call the judge tell you this tell you that they're, they're not afraid to say it so you should not be afraid to say it um just be really assertive um yeah man that's another thing uh i know i'll really kind of piggyback that on to the end of this video but yeah that's another thing i want to say uh, just man be really assertive man real assertive but anyways yeah this is the deck list i'm kind of trying to go towards i'm definitely going to add three more cards because like i said i hate drawing vindred hands i've cut revenants because there's a normal summon card that really doesn't help with what i'm trying to go for here um, I'm trying to get those effects. The, the real effect I would like is Hound Horde. Revenants is good. I'm not going to lie, but there's just no way to special summon it. So it's kind of a problem. Definitely going to be throwing a Goblin Zombie in here. But I, once again, I'm trying to cut it down to 20 monsters. Uh, at least 20, 21 monsters. Um, I don't know I'm going to do that. But yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I know I tailed in, went a little different route. But yeah, we get we got there, man. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And um, if you guys uh, are uh, what's, if you guys want to donate to the channel, links are down in the description down below. Besides that, have a nice day. And once again, be assertive, everybody. Be assertive.